Hello, I'm MG Rose and welcome back guys, welcome back, I'm bringing a brand new game to our channel for a few weeks just to give it a try, I know people have already been and done their let's plays on the game, um, but from what I've seen from the let's plays they've rushed them, this game is so beautiful, so absolutely beautiful that I want us to take a nice slow play through this game and take advantage of just the gorgeous scenes around us, so we'll get cracking. We'll get cracking, we'll get a game loaded up, let you guys see just how beautiful it is. Um, I hope you all do enjoy this game. Mayday, mayday, mayday! Oh god, all the drama. My submarine is breaking into pieces, well you should have checked it before you went underwater, dude. Sorry, I'm being rather, rather snappy there, but I've seen this loads of times now. Because I've loved, I love just looking at this place. Nathan, Nathan, are you alright? No, I've just crashed, I'm not going to be alright, am I? Sure. <laughs> and he wakes up, look at the beauty, just look, just look guys, look at that, right, first clean for six, look at how beautiful that is, before we even move, look around or anything, wow, what on earth, there's a lot of stuff around here guys, absolutely ton of, no we won't survive long without oxygen, we do have the sort of base that she's going to send into, just over in yeah, yonder direction, but I see chests in the, on the map. Let's go get these chests up and see what we think. Oh, it's a sub. Oh, a, not a sub, but something that's collapsed. We've got some stunning spears. We've got plant parts. We've got glass, glass walls. Oh, we can start making our base look pretty as well. And we've got engines, um, energy spheres. And what's that? Is that a piece? Oh, don't tell me that's a piece of submarine already, because that's kind of super cheaty, that. Take it on. That is kind of super cheating if that's the case. It is. Ah. Right. Which way is back to the base? I'm losing where I am now, guys. This is what I did not want to happen. Sugar, I'm um, going further down. Further down in the depths, which is certainly what, not what we want to happen. Can we get up here? We don't want to dig deep and go low because we can't survive low at the minute. Oh, let's get up there. Crying out loud. Swim, dude, swim. And we don't want to be out too long either because not only do we have our breathing to contend with, oh, we got gold there, well, we've no drill or anything to get. Oh, where's the base? Where's the base? I'm going the wrong direction now. Oh my god, I'm panicking that much, guys. We're going in the wrong direction. Look at the stingrays and the beautiful fish. I just want to stop and stare, but I can't because we've got to find that base. Otherwise, we're going to drown. We're going to drown and it's not going to be good. Certainly ain't going to be good for the first two seconds of a gameplay, is it? I have played through this a couple of times and I've never come up a stump like this. But I've never gone off a chest like that straight away. I've gone straight to the base, but I got greedy. I got greedy and we'll pick up them coins on as way past. Should, there we go, we should see the base. Here we are, let's see if we can get in before we start drowning. Yeah, well, let's just... There, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Safe and sound, he's at his base, look. I'm at the base. Good, there's some supplies. Are you going to be okay? Yeah, I think we are, aren't we guys? I think we are. From all we've seen so far, it's just so beautiful. We will have to get diving equipment pretty soon, but I have there is quite a fair all resources. I did see a drone on the map. So we will have to go get that up and working, which we can we'll leave these energy spheres for. So that's what they're for. Um we've got some iron and some coal already in here which is super cool the spheres we might as well keep them in there because we can't use them without spear gun so they might as well stay there we'll cook this one measly piece of fish but before we do before we do no we'll keep hold of them we'll keep hold of them we will go and cut um harvest the potatoes that are just on the top shelf as i say i have played through the game a little bit and I do have some idea of 
what there is, what we can see. And I've watched a few Let's Plays as well, like I've said, it's always smart to do before you buy a game. But I've always been told anyway, and it's worked for me. Is that not planned? Is it planted? I can't see it. Yeah, there is. There is a little green dot. I couldn't see that little tiny green dot then. Um, oh no, we have more planners. So before we start cooking this potato off, oh, big shark, barracuda. I think it's a barracuda shark. That's what they're called. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Do feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I don't mind being corrected. Oops. Let's um, just pick that back up using that little hammer thingy we could do end of our toolbar we can't actually take that out which i suppose is quite handy yep all flower planted so we should have more potatoes next time i have seen a coal deposit on our little radar map which i will show you in a second once we've just got this potato in we want hot potato not cold potato let's just get it up am i pressing that right? there i'm pressing right button now so here's the chest that we found we still got two more to open up over there we've got a coal deposit a little bit further down gold dirt i have to think then and we've got some more coal but i did see somewhere on the map um on our top map a um droid symbol while i was panicking about getting back to base and there's another chest as well it's just not showing up map because we're a bit too far out um, what I first of all what I want to do is I want to just go in here and I just want to make this weapon workshop while I remember because it is extremely important as sharks will attack if they're in the in the area when we um, kill ourselves some fish basically for our fodder um, they will come and attack us and they will also ooh, so now right, we can make these but there's no point in making them just yet because we don't have the spear gun so we are just going to worry about making the knife the knife to me is the safer option seeing as how we can use it straight away um what were i saying i can't remember what i was saying guys i'm lost track now we all know what i'm like but yeah i think i was saying something about the sharks yeah sharks can be rather did i put a potato away no, did I eat the potato? No, oh, possibly did. <laughs> possibly did. But yeah, sharks are. Um, we're gonna chuck this extruder, that exclude extruder, extractor, extruder, extractor, whatever we want to call it. We'll just pop it down here, and once it's popped up, look at that. See, see, graphically, this is just absolutely beautiful. Hundred percent iron. That's cracking. That's crying. But look at this. It is just absolutely stunning. Is this place? can't help but fall in love with it the more I play with it and I have racked up a few hours playing on it so far just because it is absolutely amazing I'm collecting the seaweed basically just sheerly for bandages so we can get some bandages on the go as soon as we've got a bit more iron um, I'm not spending much time out of oh, can't really do any hunting because there's a barracuda shark around and as soon as we start killing fish we'll have leave blood in the ocean which is not something that we want to do just get a few bits of coal we can set up an extractor here as well so it's not too much of a worry i don't like hearing the big swooshes because the big swooshes normally mean we've got sharks right by us and it always makes me extremely nervous it's just, guys, it's just the uh, hammerhead. <laughs> it's just absolutely beautiful place. It's it. it really is. And I can't get enough of it. This is why I know it's an old-ish game. Let's Plays were coming out a few months ago for it. But, you know, to me, I am just in a world of, wow, this is stunning. And I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, Oh, back down again. She had warned us of the night time. That's another predator, that really long one that was just sneaking off in the corner. Can't really hunt fish down when there's predators 
close by because they come after us then and I don't I've got ten more pieces of iron that's cracking. I don't want to get eaten. <laughs> Anyone that knows me that's seen any of my let's plays or anything of the anything else of the sort then you all know I'm a huge, 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 huge coward. I'm happy to admit that I'm a coward and I can pretty much guarantee something like that's not going to change anytime soon. But let's move now before the big fishes come. <laughs> I literally am a huge coward, guys, and even in this tranquil, beautiful place, there's still reasons to be scared. And I think when you get the little, there's a little in the centre and there's a crosshair, so there's a little um, circle, but yeah, there it goes. I think when that spins up, it tells you when there's actually a predator close by. I've got, my daughter mentioned it and I, I didn't pay much attention. I, I thought she was seeing things because I'd never noticed it before, but I've just noticed it there. So, boo, you were right. You were right, I'll admit it. Oh, look at them. Just so beautiful. <laughs> I can't get over this game, I really can't. Tranquil, peaceful. Just. But it's not always peaceful, that's the thing, it's not always peaceful. There's predators around, there's things to come and eat you and to literally ruin your day. So it's not always a peaceful place, but just. You can forget that so easily. I found that so much, you can forget that it is quite a hostile place too. Because of the beauty in the area. It is soon going to be night time. And when night time does fall, guys, I will call it a an episode for us. For our opening episode. Just so that I can pass the night away. Because I'm not leaving base on a night time. Until we get a bit more... Better equipped, shall we say. Because it's just really not going to be worth it. As sharks become 100%. Oh, dolphins. Look. Wow. Oh wow, dolphins. Oh wow, aren't you guys just stunning? You don't even know to turn around. You don't wear. Oh wow. Aren't they just stunning guys? See, did you know the game creators for this have just done an amazing job? Wow, it seems to be getting quite dark. So let's not pick a fight with that hand. Let's just get back inside. And we'll put some of these glass walls up so that we can. Yeah, night's coming. We'll top some of these out for glass walls just so that we can see a bit better. Because look, we've got to. We've got to. While we sign out, while we just call it a night for the. Well, an episode for today. We've got to take advantage of the view. Oh, there's that hammerhead there. Oh, well, guys, I'm not sure how long an episode this is going to be, but. It's only going to be short little bursts. We don't need to do too much in a day. I will sort out some food supplies. Possibly gather a bit more of the basic ores and stuff. I won't do any, if, I, if I find any chests and stuff. I'm not going to open them without you guys. But I'll just get a few basics sorted out in between as best I can. And I will see you next time. It's been super great to have you all back. You Just having you here is amazing. If you have enjoyed the episode, please do go leave a like. You're just stunning tuna. Please do go leave a like. Comments, any comment you want to give us about the game or anything we do on the channel or just because you want to say hi. It's all super amazing. Ah, let's get back out of the water, you stupid woman. I forgot there were a hole there. <laughs> but yeah, all your comments are super welcome. Super. I just love to be able to chat with you guys. Um, if you do want to become a part of our little family and get notifications and things, if you do feel free to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow us on Twitch and Twitter, then you'll not miss anything that I am doing here or just any general tidbits of information and my morning greetings when I remember. <laughs> I'll say when I remember because I'm not always that good at remembering guys. But anyway, I've been MG Rose. You've all been absolute, totally enough to superstars. Thanks for starting this lovely journey on Far Sky with me. 
I, I am super looking forward to getting into this and seeing what else is out there to explore. I hope you guys are too. And I will see you next time. Bye.